welcome to another episode of design with pam today we're going to be creating this notification screen but the focus is on the alignment the spacing and the color choices that i made and how i achieved all of this so let's get right into it first thing we're going to do is to select a frame so i'm going to go to this two regions here this two bar here and i'm going to select this one and pick frame then i'm going to see these properties here of different frames right we have the phone tablet desktop presentation watch and all of that but i'm going to go to click the drop down on the phone and i'm going to select iphone 13 mini then i'm going to title my page my screen to be notification all right so we're going to i'm going to take this here and put here where we have this here it's just so just like a phone right you have this uh, menu here where you have your battery sign the time and all that so we try to imitate that in our design just so we don't start our design just so imagine we start this design here right and a person picks up their phone there's already this item that is already there automatic on the phone so the design can start like that so but let's go right into what we're supposed to design I have this title page this page that is called the title page right what i'm going to do is to create a frame here for my title so for my title i like to have a frame that is 42 in height and i'm not adding a few color but i'm going to click click on t on my keyboard and type type notification i'm going to chuck it into the frame just in the middle here and i'm going to click on right click on my mouse and i go to plugins and i'm going to find hero icons if you don't have hero icons stored on your plugins right just go to manage plugins and type hero icons that you can find it i'm also going to go and select this menu item menu icon here this one is great then i'm going to chuck it in here don't worry we're going to put on our grid line so that we know exactly where we're keeping everything then i'm going to take this icon that this icon that shows that you want to go back to where you're coming from all right so let's put on our grid lines our layout grid i already have it saved as a style on my library okay so your keyboard and that will activate the test tool recent but i'm not going to leave it that heavy like the font I'm using is Avena and I'm not using it as black. I'm going to leave it as. Let me deactivate this and show you what it is. You can just make use of the style. All right, so this is what we have here. I'm going to make sure that there's no space between the first frame here and the second frame here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is to in medium and leave it at font 16 right i make sure that it's centered it's here aligned to this side then i'm going to duplicate this and then type mark as mark all as red so this test here is not the let's say it's not center of focus right i'm going to then use another font color that doesn't like make it as visible as recent so i don't want it to be dragging attention which recent or rather i'm trying to create a, a hierarchy here so let's just change the color to three nine four four five five all right so i'm also going to change reduce the font to a 14 then let's make it just a simple roman i'm going to select the both of them and i'm going to create an auto layout by clicking shift a Let's go and change this font width to be heavy. So it's darker, right? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to create the section that we have here. So I'm going to click T on my keyboard and I'm going to type invest now. I'm going to reduce it to a 13 and I'm going to not I'm not going to leave it as heavy. I'm going to let's see you know can let's leave it as heavy then i'm going to change the color code to same color that i used there let's keep it as three nine four four five five all right this is okay 
right so the next thing is i'm going to duplicate this by holding my option key and then dragging it out with my mouse then i'm going to type two hours ago so i'm going to reduce this font to a 12. so what i'm trying to do or the essence of all of this is when you look at this design right the first thing you will notice is recent that's because i use a font color font weight that shows you that makes it possible for you to notice that right then you also have mark all as red mark all as red does not take priority to recent because the notification is supposed to be something a user is going to is supposed to read right but that doesn't mean we're forcing the users to oh hey you must read it we see put it there but at the same time just because we want to control how users behave we use colors we use font just to guide their attention you come to the screen first thing i want you to notice is recent second thing i want you to notice is mark as red mark all as red or something or maybe you might not notice it at first but when you go looking for it you're going to find it because it's meant to be there all right so that is the essence of all of this so same thing applies to invest now two hours ago maybe the time you got it right so i'm going to change this two hours ago i'm going to go back and put my my ui here um i'm going to change the color here to this i'm just going to use a color picker and pick this one here all right so one and i don't want it to be heavy i'm going to leave it that a medium so it's all coming together so the next thing we're going to do is um let me copy out this test here Control c i'm going to hit c on my keyboard and draw a text box here just a simple text box here and i'm going to paste it so what i used here actually is a font 10 right i use a font 10 and i left the weights um to be um, roman so what i'm going to do now is to reduce this you remember we have this icon here right this icon and this shape thing going on here so i am going to drag this here drag this here maybe you should start from this grid line where it's snapping into right then we can leave this other grid line for the shape that we have select this first test select the second one and hit shift a on my keyboard just to activate an auto layout all right so maybe i should drag it to the end so if you can notice i'm working within my grid line here right i think my is very intuitive it just brings out some of this line this red lines to tell you that you're doing great so i selected this, this description text and selected this other frame that i've created and i created an of another auto layout by cl clicking shift a so i'm going to give the space in between it to be eight right so if you want to see a tutorial of how i created the shape that you're seeing here you can check my i have video on it already on my youtube channel there are other videos where i created this and you can just copy it you can just create it here but i use this pen tool to create the shape here and i got this icon from hero hero icons plugin so what i'm going to do now is to select this frame and select this other one and hit shift a to create an auto layout i think it's looking good so far so what we're we going to do um just to just to create a form of demarcation that this text here or this this properties that we have here is different from the next one we tend to use what we call lines right so i'm going to click on l on my keyboard hold on to shift key just so that i can get a perfect line and i'm going to draw a perfect line here so if you don't hold on to your shift key you're going you might not get a perfect line you can see i didn't hold on to my shift key so i'm not getting a perfect line so here i'm going to change the color of the stroke because i don't want it screaming on my page i'm going to change it to this color you can just copy the color code here then i'm going to select this line again select the frame that i already have and create an auto layout see everything is snapping in together so for this auto layout here that we have if you come closer you can see this this here is showing you the spacing between the line and the box you just created an auto layout with or the frame so i am going to reduce it to a 12 right 
then i'm going to click on this and hit my option key to duplicate it and i'm going to select the first one select the second one and add an auto layout now i don't want the spacing to be as much as this so i am going to go ahead and give it a spacing of 12. i think 12 sits very well now what we did here you can see that we have here which says we have this title which says recent right and we also have this title here that says previous so this recent one might show that you've not read it or something or oh, so let's add something to show oh this is recent oh this you've not read it <laughs> say something like that okay so i'm going to close this layout grid just so we see what we're doing so i'm going to go and take a rectangle here and i'm going to draw a shape around this what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my color picker and i'm going to change the color then i'm going to take this i'm going to go to this layer panel right this is the frame but the rectangle is on the frame that's why you can see the content i'm just going to push it down to be on the, the frame and that's it we have this here going so let me measure the space we have between this and this other item which is 16 16 looks okay then i'm just going to take this whole thing and duplicate it just so you see the space in here i want it to be a a 16 16 is good so i tend to use spacing or um spacing between 12 if it, i don't want it to be too far if it's moderate i use six if i want it to be visible a, a little i use 24 then i go down to 32 i then go down to 64 before after 32 i can use spacing of 48 then use spacing of 64 72 and on and on and on just to achieve something i have but these numbers are usually divisible by two four and i'm an even number person okay all right so it actually has helped me to have a cleaner and more consistent designs across all right so here this is the design and this is what we have now um you can go ahead and add other ones maybe change the the text you know play around it with any design that you have it mustn't necessarily be the same content but you get the the, the message Right. you could use this to display other information it mustn't just be a notification right you have your icon here you have your a short description you have a title here and the likes so thank you so much for coming to my design with palm series for today i have so many videos or on ui design that is going to help you and this is me if you are new to my channel happy to have you here please subscribe share this video so other people can benefit then you can also send me your designs on my dm on instagram so i can maybe grade you or provide more feedback all right thank you very much and see you next time